to hold on one second. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, we have an exciting day today. We have a special guest joining us uh, shortly uh, who will be uh, with us um, momentarily. Um, and uh, we'll get into that, but I need to find out um, if anyone is fasting. You know, our platform never changes. We're here to really uh, support and um, um, encourage those who are currently fasting. You all come on in. We've got a special surprise today, a special guest today. Let me get my coconut water ready, the last of it. Uh, yes. I tried to put together a video that, uh, you know, introduced our special guest and, um, you know, I just got to get better at this stuff, you know. Can I do it another time? Oh, no, I'm headed to Nick Cannon's studio. I'm going over my, oh, my God. No, not today. Okay, well, guess what? I just got a text from our special guest wanting to do it another time. He's headed to Nick Cannon's studio. <laughs> and we can't stand in the way of that progress. You know what I mean? I mean, uh. Write him back right quick. Okay. Okay. So he says, um, we were going to have uh, Abdul, um, tag, Abdul uh, Bowman. Dr. Sabi's son on today, but he just wrote me and says, can I do it another time? I'm headed to Nick Cannon's studio. I'm going over my father's documentary. We're going to be editing and I can't use my phone in there. I just got a call from his producers. We'll call you soon. Thanks. Oh my God, but that's great news. You're going to see Dr. Sabi's documentary. Nick Cannon is doing it. I wonder if this is like breaking news. <laughs> he was supposed to be on our live today and got a call from Nick Cannon's producer to edit uh, footage for uh, Dr. Sabi's documentary that Nick Cannon is doing. Wow. <laughs> Check that out. Wow. Let me show you something. Okay, let me say, okay. Let me write him back. That is wonderful news. So let's see. We got to get him back on here. You know, he'll have some scoop about uh, Dr. Sabi's documentary. Check that out. Hey, Mike, how are you? Let me go back. Listen, I'm telling you. I think we just got some breaking news. We were supposed to have Abdul uh, Bowman, Dr. Sabi's um, son, on today at 1 o'clock. I just got a text from him. Let me show you all the text. I just called him and he asked if I could text him because he was, I guess, en route to, Dr., uh, to uh, Nick Cannon's uh, studio. This is the text that I just got. So check it out. Oh my God. Is that something? So I think we got breaking news here. <laughs> Dr. Sabi's documentary is in the works. They're editing now. So he's there. It says, can I do it another time? So we're not going to have Abdul today, but we will have him. Uh, I've got his number now. And he says uh, he's going over his father's documentary. We're going to be editing, and I can't use my phone in there. 
I just got a call from his producers. Uh, he'll he'll call me soon. Thanks. Wow. So Abdul's not going to be joining us today, but we're going to carry on. We're going to uh, try to uh, tag him. And hopefully when we tag him again, we'll get some scoop on Dr. Sabi's documentary and uh, how it's uh, coming along. Let's see if I can remove the background. Hey, DC. Yeah. Hi, I am deaf. Sign language. And I'm sorry, Dan Daniel. I don't know sign language. I am so sorry. Let me see if I can uh, change the screen. Let's see. Ah, man. Mm. I don't know sign language. I'm sorry. Hey, Pamela, how are you? We were supposed to have Abdul Bowman, Dr. Sabi's son, on with us today. And uh, he just got a call from Nick Cannon's producers. And they're going to be editing Dr. Sabi's documentary. So I think, you know, even though we may not have uh, Abdul today, we'll get him and we'll have some more scoop to, <laughs> to have. I mean, that means that Dr. Sabi's documentary is is in full force. If they're uh, uh, editing stuff for it right now, that means it's coming soon. I'm loving it. Yeah, I know I gotta have my coconut water. I'm loving it. Thank you so much, Pamela. Uh, yeah, tag. I really wanted to interview him, but I am so psyched about him actually being with Nick Cannon to put Dr. Sabi's documentary together. That means it's in the works. I am, I'm really, you know, it's kind of bittersweet, but it's more sweet than bitter because we can get uh, Abdul anytime. But they're actually working on putting Dr. Sabi's documentary together as we speak. So that's going to be in the works soon. So I'm looking forward to that. An entire documentary. Hey, user 27. Yes. Can you tell me where uh, to find CMOS? Pam, I have I sell CMOS myself. Uh, the stuff that I actually um, harvest uh, from St. Lucia. And it's available uh, in the link in my bio. All you have to do is hit the little... Uh, um, dandelion leaves with the tomatoes on it and it should take you to my page. Once you get to my page, there's a link that says my alkaline vegan journey dot square dot site. And that takes you right to my store and all my sea moss and sea moss products are there. Uh, uh, purple and gold sea moss is what I have right now. I don't have any more of the spectrum right now, but I do have um, the, the gold and the purple. I'm waiting on green right now or the whole spectrum, uh, sea moss. So yes. Hey guys, come on in. We've got a little bittersweet, uh, uh, news today. Um, Aunt Abdul Bowman will not be joining us. He just texted me, uh, and said that he just got a call from Nick Cannon's producers in an effort to edit Dr. Sabi's documentary. So we got breaking news here. <laughs> Dr. Sabi's documentary is in the works as we speak with Nick Cannon. So I'm I'm very stoked about that. Yeah. Okay. Pam says, do you know I tried to find holistic doctors to help? Uh, oh, man. Good luck. And if you find one, it's money. Wow. Wow. Yeah. See? Uh, yeah, holistic doctors are being sought after because people are tired of the okie doke from regular Western medicine practicing doctors, you know, giving you uh, lifetime uh, prescriptions, no cure in sight. I, I'm, I feel you on that. I feel you on that. Now, a lot of people ask about the different colors and what I uh, uh, can surmise uh, based on our color spectrum, you know how uh, dark purples and reds and blues are more for antioxidants. Greens are for chlorophyll and leafy kind of 
uh, uh, things like that. Reds have their color, yellows and uh, oranges have their uh, specific uh, uh, method of, of attack. No different with um, the sea moss. Even though the sea moss has exactly the same nutrients, some are just more pronounced. Just like you might have sarsaparilla and burdock root. Both are like blood thinners, blood purifiers, but there's some that just have more, um, like burdock root is more of a blood purifier, where sarsaparilla is more of a, um, it is uh, targets, what does sarsaparilla target most? Hold on one second, because I got all that stuff right here. I'm so glad I got my other computer up. I was ready for him too. I'm so sad that he's not joining us, but I'm so glad that Dr. Sabi's uh, um, new, uh, uh, documentary is being, you know, published. I, I, I can't wait for that. And to find out that they're working on it right now, it just blows my mind. Uh, Sarsaparilla, it, it's, yeah, Sarsaparilla is, uh, 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 herb that's more known for its iron content. And iron, you know, is the only magnetic uh, material on the planet. So um, even though both are good for um, uh, blood thinning and stuff like that and purification, sarsaparilla is more known for uh, its iron content. So same thing with sea moss. Um, it, it's basically the only difference, just like uh, you know, you might eat uh, grapes with seeds as well as uh, blueberries. They both basically have the same uh, nutrition, but some target certain things more efficiently. So, yeah, I have a spot on brain for three years. I've uh, been down and out. Wow. I'm telling you, fasting really does reverse a lot of that. Fasting and then merging right into a chelation to get some of those heavy metals out of your system. Because as we know, a lot of uh, uh, disease stems from gut, the gut uh, microbiome. And if you clean up the gut, you clean up a lot of the things that are exposing you to disease. So I've, I'm, I'm telling you, talk to your physician and find out about... Um, uh, uh, doing a, a complete water fast. Um, we're going to be doing one March 2nd and it is for uh, uh, 40 days. We start March 2nd and we finish April 16th and uh, we're going to be doing all water and that is to completely flush the system. Once we merge out of that, we go right into a chelation and the chelation herbs that I use are Cascada Sagrada. Um, yeah, you got it. Uh, and uh, Cascada Sagrada is mainly used for colon-related issues. It stimulates secretions of the liver, pancreas, and stomach. But it should only be taken on an empty stomach as it restores the tone of the bile of the bowel, uh, that has a permanent effect. That's why it works so well. Yeah. Wow. And you should not take Cascada Sagrada more than 21 consecutive days. Uh, I also use rhubarb root. Um, let's see, rhubarb root is in here. I'm so glad I was able to get to my doggone computer. Dr. Sabi loves Lily of the Valley, and I understand why. But I use rhubarb root, uh, blessed thistle, and protegiosa which is really great. Let me make sure all my herbs that I'm telling y'all are on this list. Because Dr. Sabi has a list of herbs that are also supposed to be very um, uh, alkaline as well. Organic kelp, vervain, shepherd's purse, yarrow, chickweed. Oops, sarsaparilla is on there. Blessed thistle is not. Milk thistle is, and that's for liver health. Stinging nettle. Uh, elderberry, German chamomile, tea, dandelion. I'm sure that's on there. Yellow dot. Burdock root. Now, um, for the rejuvenation after our um, uh, thing. Hey, Keisha, what's up, guys? I've got some uh, sad news, some bittersweet news. 
Uh, Abdul will not be joining us today. He just got a call from the producers uh, for Nick Cannon. Um, they are editing Dr. Sabi's documentary as we speak. So he needs his phone and he was going to join us by phone. But they're editing Dr. Sabi's documentary as we speak. <laughs> I'm like, wow. I think that's kind of breaking news. I wonder if anybody else knows that. Because he just got the call. So I doubt it. So I think I am breaking news. Dr. Sabi's documentary is being edited as we speak. And it's through uh, Nick Cannon and his producers. Check that out. <laughs> so uh, Abdul will not be uh, joining us. He says he's going to call me and we're going to reschedule. So once we get him back on, we're going to get that tea about Dr. Sabi's documentary. <laughs> I love it. Oh, my God. Now, uh, I did a little research and I found one of the videos from Abdul. And he was talking about how, I mean, he's kind of a comedian, too. He was talking about how they were growing up, how his friends used to stay away from him because Dr. Sabi was using them as experiments. <laughs> you know, his herbal mixtures and stuff. It was so funny. Uh, but, you know, he uh, talks about how Dr. Sabi uh, uh, started making these breads, these homemade <laughs> breads, and they were like hard as rocks. <laughs> he said Dr. Sabi was always trying to do something, always experimenting with something. He went through his, his, his phases. You know, he went through a jazz phase and some other stuff. But he says that he knows Dr. Sabi as Fred. And that was before he came, became Dr. Sabi. He actually said something that I didn't know, that they didn't start calling him Dr. Sabi until after the court case. Um, I forget what year that was, but uh, the FDA got hold of the fact that he was claiming that he was um, curing uh, incurable diseases. So, and you know, all of us, you know, any of y'all to follow me, we, we, we know. We done told our doctors what we feel about them, and we done taken our health into our own hands. So we know Dr. Sabi. He he led the, the the rebellion pretty much, you know. But and I think, like his son said, he didn't do anything without having some sort of plan in mind. So and being arrested for uh, practicing medicine without a license license was probably one of his uh, ways of getting. Uh, the general public to realize that there are herbs and things that are very much uh, responsible for being able to cure. You know, some people try to stay away from that word, but that's what's happening. Unlike some of these medications that they prescribe us for life that have no cure, <laughs> no reversal or anything, but he wasn't afraid. And he was able to put on a national federal uh, 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 before a federal audience, how his herbs and things were curing people. And of course, you know, he won against the federal government. And that's why, you know, I, you know, really, I'm, I'm really, you know, stoked about, you know, really talking to Abdul because he got the inside scoop. He got the inside scoop. I never believe in herbal medicine until... Yeah, I know. Oh, my God. I get all these people who are promoting all these other doctors and stuff. And I have to literally go through and erase them because it's like, create your own platform. Get off my platform. We're talking about Dr. Sabi. We ain't talking about any of these other doctors. You know, how they cured me from uh, HSV and herpes and AIDS and stuff like that. It's like, go to your own page. We talking about Dr. Sabi. Okay, so let's go. Hey, Stacy, how are you? And you know something? I'm just missing everything. I'm talk I talk too much, <laughs> you know? I'm sorry, y'all. Let me get back. I'm kind of, you know, stoked and a little let down because I was I was prepared to interview uh, uh, Dr. Sabi's son. As you know, I want to get the scoop. Okay, let's see. Uh, DC's in the house, Daniel. Tag and I don't know sign language. I've got someone on that's deaf, and uh, he wanted me to sign, and I don't know how to sign. Um, uh, uh, Clarence is on. Uh, Clarence, welcome, welcome. I'm going back to the beginning because I know I missed some of y'all in trying to uh, 
uh, give you all the breaking news with uh, Abdul Bowman and him working with Nick Cannon as we speak on um, editing Dr. Sabi's uh, documentary. Dang, is Mike Hawk. Who is this Riz Wizard? Who is Mike Hawk? Okay, that's your name? Okay. Okay, and I'm doing well, Clarence. I hope you're doing well as uh, also. Uh, Pam, we're gonna we're gonna work with you because I really do believe that a fast would. Uh, okay, not now. A fast would really uh, uh, help to you know uh, get you to a, a place of of reversing. Uh, some of the things that you're dealing with. Like I said, that sea moss is, is awesome too. But I think all of the things, the sea moss, the herbs, everything, just tends to work so much better when you do it right. And that's with a, a palate that um, is clean. You know, uh, you're not dealing with uh, a, a, a biome that's full of uh, crud and crap. The herbs can do exactly what they need without having to go through so much um, work, doing so much work. Yes, Pam, if you uh, go onto my website, I have CMOS. All you have to do is uh, uh, click on the link. The link is myalkalineveganjourney.square.site and it'll take you right to my store and, and it'll uh, open you up to all of my uh, CMOS and CMOS products. Okay, uh, and I'm, I don't know any holistic doctors. That's another thing that I'm going to start uh, looking up some people and following them. Because, you know, I'm not just going to recommend somebody to you that just happens to be hol holistic. I'm going to have to do my due diligence because I want you to have the best, the best experience um, and the best uh, uh, turnaround for your uh, situation. So, yeah, I will definitely check that out for you. So you've already had three surgeries. And what, what I think you need to start with, honestly, uh, Pamela, is just go with no food, water, for at least seven days. Uh, Dr. Sabi says 12. Uh, 12 days really would kind of help a lot more because the longer the fast, the um, uh, longer you have uh, that time for stem cells to start creating and regenerating. And that's what you want because they kill disease cells. And they send them right to the lymphatic system and the lymphatic system purges them. Uh, user 67 is my alkaline vegan journey. Okay. Now I have a spot on my brain. Stacy Carpenter, welcome. Well, my hubby went vegan, cut out sugar and white. The uh, uh, doctor took him off blood pressure and diabetes. That's amazing. When I did my first 21 day fast, my doctor followed me for about a year and finally took me off of high blood pressure medicine. But I'm telling you, I don't know about vegan. Alkaline vegan is a little different. I can't even say a little different. It's a lot different than being vegan. But if that helped, that is wonderful. That sugar, I did an experiment with sugar, dairy, and meat while fasting in 2020. I fasted four times, 21 days each, all water. And between each fast, I experimented with the sugar and the dairy and the meat and the fish and fowl and all that stuff. And I'm going to tell you, by far, sugar was the worst, the worst on my body. Okay. So, Pam, I hope that helped. Breezy Mama, welcome, welcome. Meat has really lost its appeal lately. I'm glad I found your page. I'm glad you did, too. Yeah, we're kind of... You know, I bought some portobello mushrooms. I was looking for oyster mushrooms, but we, we do a lot of, you know, kind of um, healthy alternatives that have that meaty texture. And mushrooms definitely do. And I have a, a plethora of um, uh, dishes that I make with mushrooms because I love mushrooms and they're so good for you. But I have a plethora of them on my page, uh, especially with oyster mushrooms, um, portobello uh, the um, lion's mane, uh, maitake mushrooms. So check out my page for some really great meat alternatives with uh, mushrooms. And we also use, uh, I, I do a, a combination uh, cooked chickpeas with um, 
uh, walnuts and mushrooms to make uh, ground beef. It is amazing. You hear me? Amazing. As a matter of fact, I might have that for dinner tonight. I think I might, but I have to make my own pasta. Uh, I either make uh, spelt pasta or teff pasta. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll video it. Uh, the extended video, they're going to be on YouTube. I have so many videos that I need to edit and put up on YouTube. But they, I do have some things on uh, YouTube now. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to do my ravioli bechamel so with bechamel sauce. I got everything for that. Yes, that's what I'm having for dinner tonight. Got my mouth watering. <laughs> I'm so glad you found the page. Uh, sem uh, similars, you have joined the family. Thank you for following. We have a wonderful family. Uh, this live is designated for people who just need some support and encouragement, especially when fasting, uh, but also when transitioning from, you know, uh, alcohol to non-alcohol smoking to non-smoking, uh, 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 any kind of foods to alkaline vegan. I'm telling you, once you get your body straight, all of those little nuances like with alcohol and uh, uh, smoking and all that, they tend to dissipate because your body is healthy. Often when you're uh, dealing with some kind of mental uh, something or uh, uh, something physically uh, you're in need of, it, it kind of stems from the gut. And if you get the gut right, get the microbiome correct with good bacteria, all of those things seem to dissipate. So that's why we're promoting uh, uh, fasting because fasting is the quickest way to a complete reversal on so many levels. And it's mainly because we uh, generate so many stem cells, natural stem cells, when we're fasting. Okay, uh, Keisha's in the house. And thank you so much, Stacy. You are part of the family now. Thanks for following. User 67, you're part of the family now. Thanks for following. Jay Capri, welcome, welcome. You have Vervain in Trinidad growing in your yard. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Let me read to you about Vervain, Blue Vervain. I'm telling you, and that's definitely on Dr. Sabi's list. Now, this is what uh, they write about Vervain. <clears throat> Vervain has been useful uh, to er uh, herbal healers for many centuries of recorded history. Vervain's healing properties are attributed primarily to its bitter and stimulating effect on the liver and other organs, as well as its relaxing effect on the nervous system. Blue Vervain is a herbal remedy that relieves respiratory and liver congestion. It lowers fevers eases coughs and colds, cleanses toxins, calms the nerves, and acts as a general tonic that produces an overall feeling of well-being. And especially with this uh, COVID and their effects, whenever you're dealing with anything uh, with the respiratory system, vervain is what you need. And you got it growing in your yard in Trinidad. That's why I can't wait to get down there. I'm moving to St. Lucia uh, February 22nd. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm going to be down there uh, to visit y'all down there in Trinidad and Tobago and Barbados and St. Vincent. Shoot. I think I'm going to jump on that mail truck. I don't know if y'all got the mail truck like they do in the Bahamas. They got a mail, uh, mail boat that uh, is kind of like a party boat. I've been on it a couple times and it is fun. And all it does is go from island to island delivering mail. But you can ride it and it's like a, a party boat. You know, you got your little cabins and stuff. You might be with them for about two weeks, but so what? It is fun like that, you know? So, yeah, I'm going to be down there. I got to see if y'all got the uh, the mail boats as well. Uh, Patrick, uh, thank you so much for sharing the live. Pam, I can't wait for that. I'm telling you, I can't either. March 2nd is our 40-day all-water fast. So join us for that. Stacy Carpenter says, my hubby went for vegan and he lost 55 pounds. That is amazing. So I'm telling you, Stacy, if he did all that with being vegan, and to me, vegans eat anything as long as it's not meat or dairy. Just imagine what his health is going to be like becoming alkaline vegan. 
because we don't do anything that's not uh, wild. You know, we don't do the cabbage and the broccoli and carrots and kale and all, you know, a, a lot of the things that vegans do eat, we don't eat. Plus, all of our stuff is alkaline. So yeah, that is amazing. That is wonderful. Very good. Breezy mama. Let me lessen that as best I can. We were supposed to have Abdul Bowman uh, joining us today. And he got a call just as uh, I was calling him. He's like, please text me. I'm on the other line. And it was uh, um, the producers for Nick Cannon that um, are working on editing his dad's documentary. Abdul is Dr. Sabi's son. And he's basically like the legacy. He's, you know, was around Dr. Sabi when he was putting together his healing potions and healing people. And he, you know, Abdul's doing that now. So it's really great. So Stacy, I'm so proud of your husband. You know, so what are you doing? Are you are you on this journey as well? Uh changing your eating habits, taking taking control of your health? I hope he's in, he's uh influencing you to do the same. Very good. Hey Tiana, how are you? Okay, I got behind again talking so much. Okay. Uh Breezy Mama's in the house. Welcome, welcome. Um uh, v, v, A, V, H, S, Q. Thank you. You are a part of the family. Thank you for following Breezy Mama. Yes, I'm telling you, it is awesome. There are so many wonderful things in this journey. I started my alkaline vegan journey with my own journey in February. Of uh, it keeps ringing. Hold on one second. Let me see how to do this. Um, on live. Now, okay, so yeah, uh, yeah, that's probably why she's not on. What's happening? Okay, uh, there you go again, talking about food. <laughs> well, now it's time, everybody can eat now, right? I don't know of anyone else who's still fasting, maybe they are, but y'all, y'all got to come up with some, some tenacity and some backbone because people are not only gonna be talking about. Uh, food while you're fasting, they're gonna be cooking it. No smells are gonna in. They, they, it's just gonna be in your nostrils, and that's when you gotta have the backbone. That's when you gotta have the the tenacity to say, "I don't give a crap what we ain't going there. We're gonna keep it, you know, without food." When my body and my mind says no food. Okay, Emily says, "Is it safe to do a long fast with a heart condition? I heard it can be uh, bad." Uh, with heart problems. I'd say like this, Emily, um, without the fast, you uh, will probably have to take medication to reverse your condition. With the fast, uh, under a doctor's care, uh, you have a more likelihood of reversing uh, your situation. Um, many of our ailments come from our gut. And if we can get our gut right, we can kind of reverse these things. So, uh, deal with your doctor and find out what some of the uh, things that could happen. Find out from your doctor because many of them are not promoting fasting, but uh, there are some that are really smart, really well read, really up to date with late uh, with the latest um, case studies and um, reports that will tell you that it's okay to um, uh, fast to uh, as a um, medical treatment. Hey, Randy, you, you called me out. I, I was on my live. So sorry about that. Um, yeah. So what happens is, um, you really should consult with the doctor, but I would not rule out fasting. Now, many doctors may tell you to, you know, don't even think about fasting and some with some ulterior motive may be saying that because they want you to stay on that, uh, medication for life. And that medication has no end date because it has no cure. Whereas fasting all water has been proven by many very smart, smart people. That's how I'm going to put it. To uh, change your life. It's changed several people right here. Randy is one of them. Um, there are several people on that, you know, have had cancer, been warned against fasting, that went on and did it. And change their lives for the better. But I, you know, me not being a doctor, my thing is you, you get the uh, supervision 
of some kind of medical professional. And it's been three days. I've not been able to open this sea moss. <laughs> three days. <laughs> Am I that weak? No, and I ran it underwater too. But anyhow, let me keep going. Okay, so yeah, Emily, stick with us. We're here every day at 1 o'clock p.m. and 7 o'clock p.m. to give encouragement and support. So if you need any support and want to do a fast and, and you know, you, you, you know, just know that you can come here. Okay, Diane, you are a part of the family. Thank you for following. Breezy Mama, walnut meat is great. Yes, it is. But add, add some chickpeas and mushrooms and it is out freaking standing. <laughs> Stacy Carpenter, it's a lifestyle. It really is. I'm telling you, it really, really is. And I'm testament to that because I had to do my own test to find out what the heck this whole alkaline thing was about because I had never heard of it. I had never heard of an alkaline vegan until I stumbled upon Dr. Sabi and trying to find out ways to actually break my very first fast that I had never done before. And I did it for 21 days, just jumped out there and stopped eating for 21 days. Didn't know what I was doing. Didn't know if I was hurting myself. I was basically researching as I was fasting, but I was, I was determined not to eat. I don't know what that was in me. I had never fasted before, but it was something in me, February 24th of 2020, that said, I'm not going to eat. I didn't prepare. I'd had no preparation. I had nothing but blood pressure and a doctor telling me that, yeah, you're going to be on this medication for life. And I'd already, you know, she'd already been trying to get me to uh, uh, take that crap. And I, I, mm, I think I was uh, like, I am not into this because you don't even have an end date and nothing that says that it's going to cure me. You know, so I sought other things. Thank you, Randy, for the rose. I sought other ways to actually cure myself and fasting was the key. Fasting was the key. And she kept saying, you can't go that long. Uh, 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 um, uh, high blood pressure is the silent killer. You could have a heart attack or a stroke. And I was like, yeah, I, I'm sure. But you don't have anything that is going to help me stop having high blood pressure. You know, this whole thing of giving me this lifetime uh, subscription or prescription to medicine just threw me off. So, uh, A.C. Curry, Curry, uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, he says, it would be nice to have a Dr. Sabi grocery store where we can... Uh, find all of his herbs and ingredients. I think they have one. It's online. And I don't know which one to refer you to because it's like so many different parts of the family that have different uh, parts of it. You know, uh, one is called the uh, something tree. I got to look that up. And that's something I need to uh, deal with because I know that Abdul would have been able to give us some insight on that. But like I said, Abdul uh, Bowman, Dr. Sabi's son, was supposed to be on with us today. And we're going to get him uh, again. He texted me just before. And I guess because as I was calling him, he was like, please uh, text me um, on the phone or something like that. And then um, I uh, let me read what he said. OK, yeah, I called him and he says, uh, uh, can't talk, text me. And I told him basically what uh, I was planning on doing as far as, you know, bringing him in. And he texted me and said, like, can I do it another time? I'm headed to Nick Cannon's studio. I'm going over my father's documentary. We're going to be editing and I can't use my phone in there. I just got a call from his producers. We'll call you soon. Thanks. So that's what I got. You know, even though I'm kind of, you know, sad that he won't be on today, but I am psyched. Because that's breaking news. That means Dr. Sabi's documentary is being edited for, for publication as we speak. So I'm psyched about that. I, I really am. So, uh, yeah, I wish Dr. Sabi had a store, too. And we could get it all together where it's one collective effort with all of them not competing. So we know that we're getting all the same thing from one collected, uh, collective entity. DC says, we want to hear... All the good tea. That is the good tea. <laughs> okay, DC. I'm probably way behind. Yeah, Dr. Sabi's son. 
Uh, I'm telling you, he's got some good tea. Check check him out. Um, he has a couple uh, videos out there. Uh, one that I watched where he talks about growing up with Fred because uh, Fred Bowman is Dr. Sabi's name. And he knew him as Fred before he became Dr. Sabi. So, yeah. Uh, Tiana's in the house. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And thank you, DC, for sharing the live. Uh, Doc... Uh, Dr. Truth is on with us. Welcome, Dr. Truth. Welcome back. Okay, let me go back because y'all know I'll be behind. And if I'm saying you all things out of order, please forgive me. I'm just trying to make sure I, I hit every Alfredo Bowman. That's right. Uh, he, he calls him Fred. That's so funny. Um, he has a lifestyle. I got to catch up, y'all. Okay, we want all the good tea. Um VSQ, uh said hello, Tiana. Good afternoon, everyone. DC shared the live. Uh, Dr. Truth, God bless you. Thank you. Randy says, Alfredo Bowman. Uh, Adele uh, Cancer Fast. Adele's Cancer Fast. Yes, hello. Uh, uh, Brendan, welcome back. Uh, Lion's Mane Mushrooms. Uh, great for memory. Yes, it has so many uh, psychotropic uh, kind of uh, things with lion's mane that they're uh, still researching. Um, and, you know, it's funny because I like it because I like to make crab cakes with, them, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and learning more about mushrooms. And I'm telling you, stay tuned because I'm telling you, once I get uh, Paul Stamets or you know, uh, uh, one of those uh, guys, we're going to be talking about mycelium almost exclusively uh, for a minute because mycelium and the, the fruiting uh, mushrooms that come from mycelium, we're going to we're going to get deep into that. Mm. I love me some mushrooms and I'd go foraging whenever I can to find them uh, nice and uh, uh, in the wild. I'm, I'm telling you. Yes. So yes, it's great for memory and it's got so many uh, medicinal values to it. Um, Randy said, fasting is the silent lifer <laughs> instead of silent killer. Exactly. Silent lifer. Uh, Tiana says, doctors just want to make money off of us. Uh, not no more. Thank you. Not no more. We got this. And it's called fasting, chelation, herbs, eating alkaline vegan. Check it. Check it. User 67, get non-slip gripper pads, bright concepts to open that jar. I know, I'm telling you, I think it's, um, you know, the way I jarred it, I, I filled it, and I often do this, fill it all the way up, and you can't do that. I shouldn't have done that. Randy, thank you so much for the roses. Uh, user 49 says, go to uh, Harbor Freight and get a set of strap wrenches uh, to get your lids off of your jars. Yeah. I, you know, often I really just try my test of strength because, you know, just to have that <laughs> a little bit of exercise. Breezy Mama says, I love how excited you are. I really am. I'm telling you, this journey has changed my life. Who would have thought I'd be moving to St. Lucia? Oh, my God. I, and I'm, I can't wait. I can't wait. And this is in the interim of me being able to get back home to Australia. Um, I came here from Australia to visit because I hadn't been home for a minute. And I don't have a citizenship there. I didn't even start my permanent residency stuff. And I could have had it before I left. But, you know, I come. It's like, you know, it's going to take some time. And it takes a lot of money because you got to make you got to show them that um, you are self-sufficient when you get permanent residency. So it costs about maybe 30,000 or something like that. And um, I had all of that. And what's interesting is I could have done this before I came here, but I'm like, oh, I'll do it when I get back. Oh, I'll do it. And look at this. They won't even let me come back because I don't have citizenship. And the only people that, they, that the borders are open to are those that have PR and all of that. So my daughter, you know, got it while she uh, was there and she's been able to leave. She's been to Dubai and Asia and some other places. Uh, but she's still there in Australia, even though she's in Sydney and I'm on the Gold Coast, you know, about 800 miles away. You know, she's still able to, you know, travel. So, yeah. But, yeah, 
I, I'm very excited because this is such a, 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 a wonderful ride. It's not even funny. The way I have changed my body, my health, you, you, you don't understand how powerful that feels. And I guess that's why I'm so excited because I can share that with you. If you just take that little bit that I can give in the knowledge that I've come by and doing it for myself, you can do it too. I started with fasting and then I went into the herbs and I went into the, the, the whole alkaline vegan uh, uh, diet, you know, with all wild, all uh, alkaline food. And that stuff works. You hear me? It works. That's why I say, you know, we ain't worried about no COVID and all that other stuff. Our bodies are righty tight when we do it this way. I'm telling you. So yeah, uh, tap the uh, top. Uh, yeah, I've been doing this and I hear it getting this thing on in there. But I think some of the sea moss is actually sealed around the rim. So I got up. Oh, I felt it budge. But I done, I done cracked this thing so many times. And y'all know I'm ready for it. I got another jar of uh, uh, gold sea moss in there. So yeah, speaking uh, true words. Um, thank you, Brendan. Uh, Breezy Mama, do you take minerals uh, in your water during a fast? Never. Is all water, and I and I keep standing by that because I even noticed that Doctor Sabi said something about uh, drinking juices and things like that. But I have to uh, date things appropriately. Um, Doctor Sabi, along with Doctor Goldhammer, had the right idea back in the eighties about fasting. Doctor uh, um, uh, Goldhammer was a, a medical doctor, had a DD degrees, and actually wound up having to go to criminal court because he was suggesting fasting to his patients, and they claimed that he was that that was malpractice. I mean, he actually had to have a criminal defense attorney <laughs> represent him. But all in the same uh, uh, vein of things, you have to remember that. Um, the thought process is the same. All water, fasting, gets you to so many different levels of the benefits, which include the uh, uh, explosion of stem cell production, which we really want. Um, the almost elimination of the PKA enzyme, which causes aging, and so many other things uh, where it's cleansing the gut biome and making it anew with good bacteria. So in my mind, and it may not be uh, uh, in many because, you know, many people are still worried about, oh, you're depleting the body of this and you're, 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 you need to have this. You can't, I've done it. Five fast, 21 days, all water, no, no supplements, no minerals, no nothing. I've done it. 40 days, all water, no minerals, no supplement. I've done it. So I know what my body can withstand. And even though I felt lethargic sometimes, I felt bouts of energy and all that, I'm saying until you do it for yourself and really see the feeling, you you have to, I don't know. I, I, I just think that because I've done it without, you know... I, I've never done a fast with anything other than just plain water. I've never done a fruit fast. I've never done a, a herbal tea fast. I've never done a, a juice fast, smoothie fast, none of that. It's all my fasts have all been all water. No supplements, no minerals or anything. I mean, you may want to do all teas because even while I was doing my 21-day fast, I had the same group that you know really didn't you know offer any support during my 40 days or any of my other fasts. Uh, they were like, oh, no, you got to at least have some uh, uh, supplements or some herbs or this, that, and the other. Well, I didn't, and I'm still here, and I think I'm healthier for it. I believe that my body is completely changed. I gave my body a complete rest. I purged everything because to me, it seems like if you're still working the body with those herbs and things, it's still going through some kind of uh, uh, work that could be used 
just devoted to healing, to stem cell production, to, you know, things that your body does best with no help. And I'm, I'm looking at these breathitarians four years with no food. I, I got to do some more research on that. And this is just with breathing. Now, y'all know with our 21 day fast, I was telling y'all that just breathing helped me get through uh, so much of that. So I, I'm, I'm believing that taking the right breaths, doing having the right breathing can help you through a fast. And I'm going to really do some research on that. So no minerals or any of that breezy mama. Uh, Randy says, I couldn't get on. Now I'm here. Uh, thank God. No, I, I think um, it keeps ringing through my uh, phone. And even though it was on my computer, it came late. It's, it's delayed. So I think it I think it works, Randy. I think it works. Uh, I was on the live when I was uh, when it came through the and it came real late. I didn't understand that. Um, uh, Abdul just wrote me again. He said, OK, thanks. I'll call you soon. OK, let me tell him congratulations. Documentary. With this project. Just an XCS. Okay, let me keep going. User 49, thank you so much uh, for sharing the live. Uh, Letta Zono, thank you so much for sharing the live. Let me keep going because I'm falling behind. Okay, Stacy Carpenter, you're getting back on? Stacy, I need to find out. Are that does that mean you're gonna join us for our 40 day fast? What are you getting back on? Okay, reaching non alkaline, uh, researching non alkaline. Uh, thanks. Uh, not out, not non alkaline. What you want to do is research alkaline, alkaline uh, herbs, and I'm telling you. You're going to find many, but many of those alkaline uh, foods and things may not be on Dr. Sabi's nutritional guide. That's why I say go directly to my page, go directly to Dr. Sabi's uh, nutritional guide, because his things are not only alkaline, but they're wild. There are so many things out there that uh, may be alkaline once ingested, but they are not wild. And some things might be uh, good for you, but they're acidic. And not wild, you know. So I I, I find it uh, safer just to follow Dr. Sabi's nutritional guide because it's on point. Okay, Randy says, uh, Tiana, they deliver from the internet. Uh, um, where did you find the water at? I can't find it in most stores. Um, um, yeah, uh Amazon will deliver uh, both uh, Deer Park and um, Crystal Geyser if you have Amazon near you. Uh, user 53, you are part of the family. Thank you so much for following. Um, user 63 says, can you do physical labor during fasting? It's almost best. Your lymphatic system will love you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because once the stem cells start getting rid of all those disease cells, they send it over to the lymphatic system. And the lymphatic system is your sewage system. And the only way it works is if you're working. Some people have to get massages. Some people have to do the dry brush. But the best way to get that lymphatic system to get rid of that waste is to be working, moving. So that's the best thing. And that's why I had to force myself to do some physical stuff. So, yes. Um... Bryn J, 
Yeah, Brent J says four years with no food. Yeah, I was just it's called a breatharian, a breath breath breatharian or something like that, where he's gone four years with no food. I mm, woo. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah. Um, Randy says, Queen Robin, I found Mountain Valley in glass bottles from the source. Oh, I see. That's what you and Tiana were talking about. Yes, 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 yes. Share with us uh, where we can get that. Oh, great. That's interesting. And I believe you, Breezy Mama. Oh, yes. Uh, User 63 said, did 24-hour fast. 21 days scary. See, y'all got to get that negative energy out. Don't be scared. God doesn't work in a in a vein of fear at all. He don't do it. I mean, I'm telling you, you can do it. I'm telling you, you can do it because I've done it. I'm not going to tell you nothing that I've not, not tried myself or have accomplished myself. I'm telling you, you can do it. 21 days is breezy, breezy when you got somebody... Uh, uh, like these people here on this uh, live. And I'm telling you, this is the best group I've ever been with. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm talking about people that you can come to ask questions, get advice, tell things about your experience during your fast. This, I'm telling you, this, this is a wonderful group. Y'all just don't understand. A wonderful and watch because you should have seen us. We were just getting started with our first fast uh, with 21 days. Watch when we do our 40. <laughs> watch when we do our 40. But y'all got it. I mean, it's almost like manifestation. When you have that manifestation of fear at the beginning, it it can manifest itself and, and strangle you to the point where you cannot finish what you start. That's why we want this platform to be so extra over the top positive. Because anything you set your mind to, I'm telling you, you can do. I don't know what the heck is going on with this dog and thing. These are some of the worst jars ever. I think it's the jar, though. I really do. Anyhow. So, Brent J. Yeah, it is interesting. Um, tap the top gently on the counter. This thing got so many dents in it. Let's see if I can find this. It's got so many dents in it. You see, I've been tapped so many times. I think it's the jar itself. It's, it, you know, I'm wondering if I might have closed it while it was hot. And it might have been hot. And that could be the reason. Because often, it's almost like the, the canning process. When you have a, um, a, a jar that has like your preserves in it, you could put it in boiling water and it'll seal it. So that it preserves it that way. And I think that's what it was. I put the sea moss in here while it was still warm. So that's why I'm going through all of that. Uh, hey, Thomas Prue. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We were supposed to have um, Abdul Bowman with us today. But as I was calling him, he was getting a call from Nick Cannon's producer in uh, an effort to edit his father, Dr. Sabi's documentary. So we, we got some breaking news here. <laughs> You know, and I have to say all oh, thanks to Queen Randy. Randy set this up. She set it up so perfectly. I'm telling you, her and her connections out there in California are amazing. She was able to call him. She gave me his number. I was able to call him. And as I was calling him, she he actually uh, wrote me back and said, I, uh, uh, text me, I can't talk right now. And he went through and said he's going to have to do it later because he's now with Nick Cannon's producers editing Dr. Sabi's documentary. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get him. Randy, thank you so much. Star of the show, Miss Queen Randy, <laughs> Black Wall Street Organization. Welcome, welcome, guys. Y'all come on in. Lady Wheeler Fourth. You are part of the family now. Thanks for following. Adele. Uh, Adele is cancer fast. I got to see this name. Adele is. Adele is. Uh, cancer fast. I hope I'm saying that right. It's cancer fast. Okay. I'll just say 21 days. Let me keep going. 
Okay, you are a wonderful teacher. Uh, Tiana says, uh, you are a wonderful teacher. Thank you uh, for what a blessing to meet you. Oh my God, that is so nice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I think that honestly, I guess I have such a passion about this because of the way it's changed my life. I mean, you can't sit on that. God just won't let you. I'm telling you, he just won't let you sit on. I mean, this is good news. I mean, we can heal ourselves. We don't need these money grubbing doctors to continue to take advantage of us with these medications that have no cure, that they're in our face trying to prescribe to us for a lifetime with no cure. So I, I feel so passionate about that. And I'm continuing to do the up-to-date research on uh, uh, fasting, and I'm just being overwhelmed by it. I guess that's why I'm doing it so often, because first and foremost, I love the feeling that I get when I'm done, because it's like a newborn baby being born in me. You know, like I'm, I'm literally starting over. It's just fascinating to me. And I mean, just so humbling and rewarding and all of that at the same time. I'm just really overwhelmed with the the with God and how I mean he is just masterful to put our bodies together the way he did. Where I mean, yeah, you you might want to add herbs and stuff, but I'm telling you, I believe so wholeheartedly with my fast that God has made it in such a way, made our bodies in such a way that it can completely heal heal itself. No help needed. You, we just have to give it the opportunity. And the opportunity to me is stop eating. Just stop eating. It's free. It's free. It's free, y'all. It's free. Mm. So Randy is going to uh, uh, let us know the website for the Mountain Valley. And I'm going to have to post it. Uh, Joyce, you are part of the family now. Uh, thank you so much for following. User 63 says, uh, at Brent J49. Uh, no, I don't know what uh, at Brent J49 said. Um, Randy says, glass bottled spring water from the source, Mountain Valley. And that's what you want. Glass, not plastic. Glass. And that's why I'm so interested in Mountain Valley. I got to finish doing the um, uh, um, the um, research on Mountain Valley. Um, now, uh, Keisha, you you are my freaking hero. She says I pump uh, pump concrete all freaking day while fasting. I, and see, I'm so mad at you. How come I didn't get a before and after picture? I'm ready to start posting these pictures. I only have like four or five of them. So I'm really trying to get some before and after pictures, before the fast and after the fast. We're really going to uh, uh, stream that thing um, for the March 2nd fast because I want some before, especially you. I bet you, you man, I'm all, you know, it ain't that bad because I ain't have that much to lose. It's something about after fasting, your body knows what your um weight should be and it keeps you there so a lot of people were talking about i'm gonna lose weight i'm gonna gain weight and this that and the other your body knows and i give all credit to god because he manufactured these bodies so perfectly it knows what weight you should be randy says alkaline herbs approved by dr sabi uh yeah they're all on his nutritional guide some of them are not and i and i'll tell you which ones because there's another uh list that i don't think i've published Let me finish writing uh, Abdul record. Okay. Okay. Now, what, what I'm finding is uh, I went to the giant and found a uh, uh, Mountain Valley, but it was uh, the sparkling one, like Evian or something. So I don't, I definitely don't want that mineral water. Uh, sent you my before. Yeah, I, I, so Q 
Keisha, guess what you got to do now? <laughs> I need the after. Now, where did you send it? Did you send it on TikTok? Not TikTok, but on uh, uh, Facebook? Because, you know, I'm scatterbrained. I need to know where you sent it to. Okay, started my alkaline journey about two years ago, and I've never felt better. I know that's right. Who is that? Uh, Saeed Note. Say, say Note. Oh, my God. I, I know what you mean. I can't wait to get near to cook the mushrooms. <laughs> I'm telling you. I actually look forward to it. Oh, my God. Yes. It, it's something about just living clean that just helps you feel. I think it, it does something mentally to you too, that really just, you feel like you can conquer the world, no joke. And you need that now because sometimes when you, you know, especially if you look at the news, I don't even own a TV, but um, I hear about different news things. Um, but to be inundated with this kind of news uh, that's so depressing all the time and it, it just seems like, you need something on your side that's that's uplifting. And just having a clean system is one of those things. Okay, it's 2.30. Um, so yeah, you're like me. I started about two years ago too. February of 2020. So yep, it'll be two years uh, this month. Okay. I'm, am I saying it right? Side note? S -s -s side note okay side note uh turned into a game and have uh tried over 200 unique fruits so far <gasps> that's what i'm talking about yes i know what you mean i mean i remember uh you know buying <laughs> crap that was on dr sabi's list i ain't have no clue as to how to cook it prepare it eat it or anything <laughs> and it did become a game i mean really the pepinos and the uh, uh, some other, uh, the, uh, cher cherimoyas, um, it was some other fruits that it was like, I don't know, I don't know, not the, uh, cactus pear was really new for me. Um, and now it's funny. They're selling them in the, uh, grocery stores now. Like it ain't nothing new, but that one thing they don't sell is, uh, soursop. I cannot find soursop anywhere. Okay, let me keep going. Uh, so he says they they are destructing uh, us from uh, living in tune with uh, nature. Of course, that's why I got to get away for a minute. And I think everybody should get away from here for at least a quick minute, even if it's just uh, for vacation. And don't do the touristy thing. I know I used to travel with some people that, oh, no, we got to go to the resort. We got to go to the resort. And I'm like, every resort is going to be the same. And it's not like you're traveling any freaking where. I like to get in the hood. <laughs> and that's what I do. I gets in the hood. I gets on the public transportation. And I go where most people. And they know, you know, I'm not from there. because, And they can tell, like when I went to Cuba. Yes, I did. I got on the transport. <laughs> And they knew just by the tennis shoes I was wearing, you know. <laughs> oh, God, that was a trip. Uh, but when I go to any of the islands, I definitely don't stay on no resort. I try to do Airbnb or something because I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to do that. It's the same everywhere you go in every country, these resorts. Then they had these tours to take you where you really want to go. But when you should just be in that area where you could walk. On the ground with no shoes, you know, ah, near the water and all that. So anyhow, yeah. So that's wonderful. Uh, side note, uh, being able to test all those doggone uh, fruits. I can't wait to do that. And I guess in a way I have, cause I'm I'm not a I'm a, a daredevil too. Oh, I see what's happening. I got this this screen on, so I can't even give myself likes. <laughs> Randy say hit the screen. And when I hit the screen, I get all this stuff. This is who we're going to have. Let me see. Ah, whatever. Okay. So Shaq. Oh, Shaq is finished. Wow. 
Wow. 21 days. Congratulations. 21 days. Very good. Very good. Very good. How you feel? You got to go right into your chelation. Stop eating everything. Because I'm going to tell you, when you do your chelation, you need to be on an a empty stomach. A empty, empty, empty stomach. And uh, do the Cascada Sagrada, the uh, rhubarb root, the blessed thistle, and the protegiosa. Just do a, make about 16 ounces of that and um, let that run through your system for the two days that it's going to, or three days that it's going to run through your system. That is so great. You see that? Now we got uh, feed is finished. We got uh, Tiana, I guess, I, I, I can't remember. Tiana, are you done? I know Keisha's done. Um, Shaq, now you're done. We had some people that uh, joined our 21 day fast late. So uh, some of them are just finishing. And now, like I said, even with the 40 days, I don't care when you start, just start. That, that's the bottom line. Just start. Congratulations, Shaq. And Shaq, uh, Thursday, um, uh, let me just give you a little background. Shaq is one of uh, our family members who lost her brother during uh, due to, uh, COVID during our fast. And she never stopped the beat. She never skipped the beat. She kept fasting, you know, and our prayers went out to her and her family. She's going to be laying him to rest Thursday. So um, please, prayers for uh, Shaq and her family. Thank you, guys. Side note. So I did have it right. Thank you. <laughs> so side note. Uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, follow me and join the family. Uh, uh, how can you get a sour sop? Yeah, if we can get sour sop. If I can. So you're in Trinidad. And that's what I probably need to do. Uh, Trini, uh, Trini woman. I'm in Trinidad and Tobago and can't find sour sop. What? Don't you tell me that. Oh, my God. Now, side, side note said I can get you sour sop. And what I might have to do is set up something because I love that cherimoya. I got cherimoya growing from the one that I was able to find. And I took all those seeds, dried them out, started planting them, and I got cherimoya. Actually, I hope it's still growing because I haven't been home in a minute. I've been at my daughter's preparing for my move. But I have to get back over there. Adamoya. I just posted an Adamoya uh, uh, a video. Okay. So I got to go. I got to come check you out. Okay. Very good. Because, yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get some sour sop. I want sour sop. So, yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk. Yes, I love cherimoya. That thing was so creamy. I made my ice cream with that, with that cherimoya. Uh, Joyce says, I am thrilled to be a part of this informative community. Oh, great, great, great. Yes, I'm telling you, there are so many things that we're learning, so many things that, you know, are evolving because as we fast, we're learning... <clears throat> That it's being adopted all over the world. I mean, as a main science, whereas it was looked at, looked upon as just being quackery. I mean, just look at a couple of Dr. Goldhammer's, Alan Goldhammer's his name. Look at a couple of his videos. He started in eighty in the eighties, just like Dr. Sabi, uh, trying to do fasting and stuff. So you know, I, you know, I I try to stay away from mainstream as much as possible. And with anything that I do find, guess what? I'm checking it out myself, on myself. So that's why I did all those experiments on myself. And it, it really helped. I was able to really see that sugar is not for me. I can do agave. I can do date sugar. But all that turbinado, stevia, uh, cane sugar, whether it's organic or not, oh, that stuff is poison. That stuff is straight poison. So I've, I've been able to get away from it. Uh, the dairy, oh my God, talk about backed up, backed up, you know, it ain't no joke. Um, yeah, distracting. Yeah, they, you're right. Say, uh, side note, a lot of the food industry, and I share it with everyone about me being here in DC and how not only the food industry, but the pharmaceutical, um, industry has some powerful lobbyists. 
there, no joke. And I sat in on one uh, session with the uh, food industry. There are four major companies that run 80% of all food in the United States. Tyson's is one of them. Um, and they have lobbyists like you would not believe. They actually got uh, um, permission not to put uh, GMO on foods that you're eating. So when you see words like um, natural flavoring, I think was a compromise that they made and some other stuff, uh, just know that it could be over 167 different foreign substances, you know, natural flavoring. So, yeah, and I, you know, I look at it like this, uh, that if you are buying anything packaged and it has more than three ingredients, you probably shouldn't be buying it. I mean, simple as that. You probably should not be buying it. So, um, yeah, and I'm telling you, this is a, a new community. We started uh, January. Actually, we started a little before uh, January, December of 2021, and we have grown. We've already finished one 21-day fast, and the people that are here, cool. You hear me? I'm talking about, I feel so comfortable coming uh, on live and knowing that I'm going to have such a great community. And I'm telling you, even the trolls stay away because <laughs> we got some warriors. They don't last long here talking about, oh yeah, um, I don't like, uh, um, I eat meat and all this other kind of crazy stuff. Um, uh, so yeah, we got warriors in the community that uh, protect us from uh, the trolls and the you know, naysayers. Now, we, when I say trolls, I'm talking about people that are completely disruptive and negative. And what happens here is our, our community is so positive that they eradicate them instantly, quickly, <laughs> whatever. You know, I don't even need moderators. I, I guess in a way, you know, my warriors are my moderators. Actually, I don't know. I, I got to figure out how, how to do that. Um, because I'm still new to this technology with these platforms. I was a private investigator for like many, 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 many years. So I ain't do all of this stuff, you know. I authenticated some of the stuff. I testified about a lot of this stuff. But as far as being on it and utilizing it, I don't know nothing about this stuff. But uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, this is a very, very positive, nurturing community that is um, so good with... Um, support and encouragement. You you can't beat it. You really can't beat it. And yes, we are all family. You're welcome, Shaq. You're welcome. Um, side note said, um, I'm in Florida. I import them from Grenada and ship them across the U.S. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so yeah, we definitely talking because that's what I'm looking for. You know, yes, we can get soursop. How about um, uh, herbs and things? Because, you know, I try to get my herbs from Jamaica. The, the practice in which this uh, group does their um, um, uh, harvesting of their herbs, I, I love it. And I believe that just in the way they grow it and harvest it, being so positive, it just trans translate positivity throughout every part of taking their, their herbs. So, um, and that's why I'm, you know, ordering, uh, some of the things that I know about as far as the chelation and all that, but definitely the fruits hook, hook us up. I'll put some on my store. People can go directly to the website and, uh, order, uh, your, um, uh, fruits from, uh, Grenada. That is wonderful. Tiana says, I love the positive channel. Um, where, where you uh, can express your uh, self through any situation. I, I do too, Tiana. Oh my God. It's like, what a relief. And you know, when I think back on, um, you know, Facebook group that I was on and I, I really don't even communicate too much with them anymore. Cause I look, I look at some of the comments and some people are so hard on people who, you know, I mean, 
I, I see people posting, you know, alkaline uh, uh, vegan things and they might have a misstep. And you should see the comments that come afterwards when they might use uh, uh, garlic or something. It's like, oh my God, it's like persecution. I was like, I ain't never. I mean, you know, where you, you're on that standard of such perfection where you're so perfect that you don't have a misstep that, oh man, it's just crazy. It's like, okay, you know, just remember next time we don't use that. That's not on Dr. Sabi's list, but they like get persecuted, you know? And when I was fasting, it was like, I was trying to, you know, post my 21 day and then my 40 day fast. None of those posts got picked up. And when I talked to the, um, the admin that was moderating or whatever, she was like, oh yeah, well, we've never had anybody do 40 days, so we can't post that. I was like, okay, I'm doing it, but you can't post it. Okay. So I had no support. So anyhow, um, and then all water, they had never done all water. They always did fast with teas and uh, juices and smoothies and stuff like that. So I don't know. And maybe maybe that's the way they do things. But, you know, I, I guess really I am a rebel. You know, I, I'm definitely going to try it on myself before I uh, recommend it to, to anyone. And that's what I've done six times now. So, yeah, I'm so glad that... Um, all of you feel like me about this being a positive channel and a way to be able to, you know, really open up and not feel like you're going to be persecuted or anything. Um, side says, uh, side note says, if you can't put the ingredients together in your own house, you probably shouldn't buy it. That's a great rule of thumb too. I like that. I really do. Very good. Um, yeah. Exclamation point. Okay. Okay. I read, uh, veg, um, veducation over medication by Dr. Bobby Price changed my life. He used to be a FDA pharmaceutical. Really? So it's called veducation over medication. Bobby Price. Okay. I got to get that. Okay, Randy says Mountain Valley Pure Source since 187. Mountain Valley, same multiple award winning clean. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, Barry, Barry's uh, sweet. Thanks for joining. Okay, here come they pop up about 20 different new messages all at one time. And I guess I have to say, really, I'm, you know, I let it happen and let them stack up. Okay. Okay. Manifestation. Randy says, um, you're going to, um, manifestation. Uh, Randy says, uh, seal note, a uh, side note. I want to come visit the underwater museum. Oh my God. Yes. I import sea moss from Grenada and Ireland and can get just about any tropical fruit, uh, you can find, uh, that you can think of. Yeah. I, um, I actually dive for sea moss in St. Lucia and I, uh, uh, send it back here to the United States, but I'm actually moving to St. Lucia and, um, We'll be sending uh, my St. Lucian sea moss. And I, I really like the sea moss in St. Lucia simply because of the volcanoes. That, vo uh, that volcanic activity really does add minerals. Uh, it really does add substance to the minerals of uh, the sea moss. It, it's, it's nothing like it. I've had it from Haiti, sea moss from Haiti, sea moss from uh, uh, Jamaica. I've had sea moss from... Uh, uh, see, the stuff in Ireland on the Atlantic, I would probably stay away from because they've got a lot of uh, uh, pollution kind of stuff. You know, the, I, I like the Caribbean. Um, and I, I'm thinking I want to check out the Mediterranean because they don't have a lot of stuff. It's kind of like an inlet as well where um, they, you know, kind of contained. 
And uh, even though they don't have volcanic uh, stuff, they don't have a lot of um, uh, pollution. I mean, when I was in Malta, whoo-wee, it reminded me of the Caribbean, even though it was February and it was freaking cold as crap. <laughs> but St. Lucia's uh, sea moss is like second to none. I, I mean, really just outstanding uh, in comparison to all the sea moss that I've had uh, uh, throughout. So, uh, Fat Amputee is on. Welcome, welcome back. Yeah, guys, I have a little bad news. We're not going to have Abdul today. Uh, he wound up getting a call from the producers uh, for Nick Cannon in editing Dr. Sabi's documentary. So, we we had to give him a pass on that, you know? <laughs> we had to give him a pass. So, he says that he's going to uh, call me as soon as he... Uh, uh, he says, um, I'll call you soon. So I'm just, you know, thankful that Dr. Sabi's documentary is in the works. That's going to be some, whoo, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Uh, underwater museum. Y'all know that's right up my alley. What y'all talking about? What y'all talking about? An underwater museum? Didn't I tell y'all I'm a fish? <laughs> I am a fish. And that's the kind of museum I'm talking about. Because I'm going to tell you, when I'm diving, I'm, in a, I'm truly in another world. And I have to watch myself because you only get so much air to go down there. And I wind up being down there to the very end. And you got to watch how your nitrogen balances when you uh, uh, come back up. Uh, cause it could mess you up, but, um, I, I, I'm telling you a underwater museum, I'm there. I am there. So yes. Okay. I need to try some St. Lucian sea moss. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And when I move down there, I'm, I'm going to be close to the garden where I dive, uh, in, uh, Rodney Bay. Uh, it's near, it's in Gross Islet, um, and uh, all of his, uh, cast trees, but they also have an area in Soufrière where it's not like, you know, mountains. It's not really that many beaches thinking about it, but I'm going I'm to hit down there. Now that I'm going to be down there for an extended period of time, I will be hitting all the spots, all of the spots and sending that dog on Seamoss right here. Right here, but see, you know, when I'm there and I'm uh, diving for it, I'm, I'm eating it <laughs> right out the water. The only reason why I have to dehydrate it is to freaking ship it, because otherwise, I'm, I make noodles with it when I rehydrate it and stuff. Uh, uh, here, I, I, I use it as uh, noodles in my salad. Man, this stuff is so pristine. It does not have that real fishy kind of smell. It's more like, um, and that's why I don't understand. And I assume that a lot of people's uh, sea moss may not be real because it has a really stinky kind of fishy kind of smell. And I believe that's why a lot of people use lime and stuff. I don't use none of that stuff in mine. I wish I could open this thing like right now. But um, uh, the St. Lucian sea moss, but um, uh, the St. Lucian sea moss is just I should put do not disturb or whatever. Okay, uh, fat amputee, how are you doing? And uh, uh, Saeed, I'm, I'm gonna be down. Side note, I keep wanting to say side Saeed. Uh, I'm going to be down there um, uh, before I leave for St. Lucia. I'm going to try, you know something, uh, my ticket is already for February 22nd. I'm, I'm leaving on 2 2 2 2 2 2 Tuesday, 2 2 2 2 2 2 you know. <laughs> I made that a plan. I was supposed to leave on the, uh, on the 19th. And I was like, nah, Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022. That's when I'm leaving. So I, you know, changed my ticket and everything. But um, I'm trying to get down there to uh, Miami 
before I leave for St. Lucia because I've got some people who want that, you know, I distribute sea moss too down there that's selling my sea moss already down there. I don't know if he's actually, uh, he, he puts it in a lemonade or something like that. So uh, uh, I should be down there. Uh, side note, just uh, uh, drop me a comment on one of my posts and just let me know how we can, you know, get in touch with one another. Fat Amputee, I'm so glad to see you are here and on day two. Five pounds already? Look at you. Look at you. See, I'm going to tell you, like I said, when I did my first one, I must have needed to lose a lot of weight because I wound up losing 58 pounds. I must have really didn't realize I was overweight or or, or carrying excess weight because normally, you know, you don't lose that type of weight in 21 days. But I lost 58 pounds in 28 day, 21 days. So that is amazing. Now, this is day two, day three. You better be on here because I don't want no excuses. You understand what I mean? You know, day three, it might try you, but you got this. It may try you, but you, you know you got this, right? You know you got this. That's what I'm talking about. Congratulations. Stick with it. Yes. Okay, it's about to pop up some more uh, things. Uh, Fat amputee. Uh, uh, said. Uh, uh, side note uh, says to Fat amputee, that's good. And of course, Fat amputee, you got this. You know you got this. And I'm telling you, you feel anything, anything, just you know. One one o'clock and seven o'clock. That's why we're here for people who are fasting. Okay, yeah. Uh, I, thank you, uh, Randy. The original cookware is cast iron, not painted. Thank you, man. And it's hard to find that stuff. The straight iron, cast iron. But yeah, the stuff that I have, I think, is mixed with some nickel or lead or something like that. Because real cast iron, you can shine that stuff up and it's, it's completely stick free, you know, naturally. So, yeah, very good. Well, guys, guess what? I'm going to try to get on uh, at 7 o'clock, so I got to get off of here and uh, get some work done. Uh, it's almost 3 o'clock. We will all good uh, join. Oh, good. I'm trying to figure out. Do you get off at 2.30? Uh, because almost every day when we're almost ready to get off, you join. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Foundation 82, thank you so much for joining and thank you for sending the roses. Now, I hope you all are following. Become a part of our family, y'all. Follow me and let's let's do this thing. You won't find another more conducive environment for fasting than this one. You just won't. You won't find one that's more relaxed and more caring and loving than this one with whatever you're going through in your life. Because you know, we know that uh, with life, I don't care if you're fasting or not, brings about so many different struggles and things. So yeah, follow me, y'all. And I'm telling you, go on my site. I've got sea moss that I harvest myself in uh, St. Lucia available on my uh, uh, website, which is linked in my bio. And uh, the sea moss bomb, I'm telling you, is a hot seller. Uh, go ahead and order that. All of this is linked in my bio. And we will see you guys back here at 7 o'clock, okay? Thank you guys so much for the roses. Thank you guys. So I'll see you all at 7 p.m. tonight. Bye, guys.